So as you know by now, Huawei have been forced into ceasing all operations with Huawei. And that means that Huawei is essentially banned from using Android. How will this affect your device? If you have a Huawei right now, are there going to be problems using your device? Will you have problems using or downloading apps on the device? Will security updates be pushed to the device? If you're looking at buying a Huawei, should you not do that now? Should you look elsewhere? If you've just bought a Huawei, how is this going to affect you? So this phone, the P30 Pro from Huawei was released about six weeks ago, maybe eight weeks ago, depending on where you are in the world. And even though I'm a reviewer, I bought this one with my own money. So how is this all going to affect you? What are the solutions to this? Can you still use your phone now? And going forward, how will this affect your device? So a big development in this story that came out yesterday, my time as I live in China, according to Reuters, the US eases restrictions on China's Huawei to keep networks and phones operating. The US government on Monday, that would be US time, temporarily eased some trade restrictions imposed last week on Huawei, a move that sought to minimize disruption for Huawei's customers. So what does this mean? Essentially, Huawei has been given some time to find some solutions on how it's going to deal with this, given the fact that Huawei devices are in the hands of hundreds of millions of people worldwide. It's not just phones though, there are internet networks across the world and including in America that provide internet solutions that are also going to be affected. Not just Google, but chip makers like Intel, Broadcom and Qualcomm have all ceased business operations with Huawei, putting Huawei's laptop business in doubt. So according to Engadget, even though on mobile devices, Huawei's problem seems to be software related when it comes to PCs and laptops, Huawei relies heavily on US chip makers and so its laptop business may be more heavily affected, although that is a much smaller proportion of its sales. Over the next three months, everything should be as normal on your phone and you should receive security patches and updates. Google said, for Huawei users questions regarding our steps to comply with the government actions, we assure you while we're complying with those requirements, services like Google Play and security from Google Play Protect will keep functioning on your existing Huawei device. So Google's interpretation of this is that they can still support existing devices. If you have a Huawei phone right now, Google think that they can continue to support that through the Play Store. And for the next three months at least, operating system updates, if there are any, should be pushed through as normal. Huawei's statement is slightly more worrying though. Huawei will continue to provide security updates and after sales services to all existing Huawei and Honor smartphone and tablet products, covering those that have been sold and that are still in stock globally. They said they'll provide after sales support, which of course they should. This relates to hardware most of the time, if you need to replace a screen or some other bit of hardware on the device. It also said they would provide security updates, which isn't exactly the same as working with Google to provide Android operating system updates. And we just don't know if those security patches are gonna come in a timely manner. If Huawei have to use the public version of Android, then they'll be made aware of security flaws at the same time as they are pushed out to the general public. And that means that essentially any updates will just come too late, leaving big questions over the security of devices going forward. Until August 19th, there are no problems. But after that date, things just become less clear. The US may drop restrictions, give another extension, or not. And it looks like Huawei themselves and my personal experience of how things work in China, Huawei won't want to rely on Google anymore. And so they will probably start the process of preparing consumers for a Huawei operating system. So to be really clear, if you have a Huawei device right now, the ban on Huawei using Google services has been lifted temporarily for the next three months. For the next three months at least, everything on your phone will be the same. But what happens after that? 
What happens if the ban isn't lifted? What are the solutions from a Huawei point of view and for you personally as a Huawei consumer? Well, I have some personal experience of this. Living in China, I live in this exact situation, a situation where Huawei exists and use the Android operating system, but live in an area where Google apps and Google services, including the Play Store, are completely and utterly banned. So this is the Chinese version of the P30 Pro and it comes installed with no Google apps whatsoever. Google services are completely blocked within the country. It's an Android phone. It uses the Android open source project as a base to put Android on the phone with EMUI on top of that. However, this phone just doesn't rely on any Google services to function. The calendar, the browser, find my phone, any cloud services are all run directly by Huawei. All of these functions already exist and Huawei could just use them outside of China as well with no problems. The bigger problem for Huawei is that as a consumer outside of China, you just probably don't want to use them. If you're an Android user, then you probably use Gmail and Chrome and have all your contacts synced up using Google. As a consumer, if you use Google, you're just not gonna want to change. It's just too much hassle and too much uncertainty. In mainland China, the system has been created without Google and without Google Apps. Huawei has its own app store called App Gallery. And this has a load of apps from developers within China and some outside of China too. They create apps for China or Chinese versions of outside apps. And that makes sense in China because everything would have to be in Chinese as well. And in fact, most people that buy this phone in China probably don't even know what the Google Play Store is. But App Gallery is set up for China. And it's gonna take a lot of time for app developers to work with Huawei to develop essentially an outside of China app gallery. And I assume that is exactly what will have to happen if Huawei can't use the Play Store going forward. So should you buy a Huawei device if Google is blocked? So Google do not actually support direct downloads of APKs anymore. You have to go to a third party website, download the APK, plug your phone into the computer, put that APK file onto your phone and then install the app through the APK on your phone. However, the app might not be supported by App Gallery. You have no idea about its security and possible updates to the app and it could leave the device vulnerable. If you're buying a smartphone for $1,000 or any price, you have to be completely certain about its security and buying a phone and then having to update or load separate apps onto it is just something that most consumers probably don't want to do. Can Huawei somehow provide these as convenient links for customers that use their phones and also provide security updates for them going forward? No one knows. But certainly they have a head start. As I said, App Gallery already exists. Huawei have a lot of experience dealing with a situation where they can use parts of Android, but other parts, specifically Google services, are blocked. So Huawei might be able to essentially provide the same solution that they do in mainland China to their worldwide phones. But they'll need to find a way to put YouTube on Huawei phones. Otherwise, people might look elsewhere. Today is the launch of the Honor 20 series in London. And this is just terrible timing for the brand. It couldn't be helped. But yes, Honor being a sub-brand of Huawei will face exactly the same situation as any Huawei branded phones. As these phones would have been through approvals weeks or even months ago, they should be in the same situation as existing handsets at the moment. So yes, you could buy these phones and everything for three months at least will be absolutely normal. But as a consumer, I know what you're thinking. If the future is uncertain, how can I invest my money in this device? And there's no answer to that. So how about the future for Huawei? I guess they will be releasing phones with some version of their own operating system. But if Google is fundamentally barred from doing business with them as a company, I don't know how going forward, Google can provide their apps to Huawei phones, things like Gmail and YouTube, even as third party apps on a Huawei operating system, I assume 
just wouldn't be allowed. And that is probably going to prevent a lot of consumers from choosing Huawei phones. But one thing is for sure, Huawei are not going away. They have over 200,000 employees. They own pretty much half of Shenzhen, which is the city that I live in. Huawei will still make phones and will provide solutions to customers. I know that for sure. But what no one can tell you is just how they're gonna do it.